Hey guys, David here. Thanks for tuning in. And as you just saw, we took my Mavic Air 2 to the beach, hooked it up to the fishing pole and sent it out and caught actually a couple of fish. So in this video, I'm going to show you what it is exactly, how you do it. We're then going to hook it up to my drone and we're going to uh, show you how to do it uh, in, a, in a controlled environment. So when we were out there on Halloween, the winds were blowing anywhere from 15 to 20 miles an hour. I was super nervous and uh, I just want to show you guys and get more practice myself and show you how cool this little uh, fishing gannet is. All right, we're going to go ahead and show it to you now. Coming up. So we have the Mavic Air 2, as you can see, and we're going to show you real quick just where it goes. You have a couple, couple sensors on the other side here and... Uh, Basically, it goes right here between these sensors. On the website, it says, do not turn off the sensors, but it partially blocks them. And I turn them off because basically we're flying over an open ocean. And uh, I don't want the, the, the device tripping any kind of sensor and having some kind of malfunction. So I turn it off because there's, there's no obstacles. I mean, you're just flying over open ocean. Okay. So we're going to take the Mavic away. We're going to show you what we got here. So this is the box that comes in. Gannett Sport, world's most advanced mechanical bait release system since 2016. Well, there you have it. They've been doing it since 2016. And it's dronefishing.com. I'll leave a link below. I'm not affiliated, but if you want to grab your own, because um, they're kind of hard to find. I don't think I don't believe they're on Amazon. I had to search Google for them. They they're they're on there somewhere. You'll find them. So that's the box. You have the Mavic Air adapter. So you have three pieces. You have this goes. This actually contacts the drone. This sits right by the sensors. You have this red piece, and then you have another foam with uh, uh, tape on it. I never, I emailed them when I first got it, they responded the next day and I still couldn't figure out from their instruction what to do with it, but whatever, I don't use it. I'm just gonna keep it. And then you have the actual fishing gannet that of course sits on the bottom of the drone. You then have this is what actually uh, your swivel or your fishing line goes in between there. And um, you can make it tighter or you can make it looser. And this is super light too. And this is what I like about it. It's super, super light. It's a mechanical. There's no electricity. You don't have to plug it into your drone or program it on remote control. It's just basically uh, you fly it and... Uh, you put tension on the line and it pops off. So you have to adjust it to make sure you have the right tension. If it's too tight, it's not coming off. We all know what happens to that. It could crash your drone. If it's too loose, when you're taking off, it'll pop off and you have to restart. So here it is, guys. And then this, of course, hooks onto these. So let's go ahead and install it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So of course, this is the front of the drone right here. And this is what it looks like. So this little gauge right here needs to point to the front so you can see. I mean, it's not necessary, but this is just the front of it so you can adjust the tightness. And then this piece is gonna go here. So what we're gonna do is put this down. And you just try. 
And there you have it. Just goes like that, in front of the drone, adjust the tightness, and you can see the little foam, the little cushion pad right there that protects the drone. See, it's, it's a little bit in between. There's always gonna be an obstruction. If you push it up higher, it's gonna come off this one, but then it's gonna be on this one. So really like, I just don't even, okay. So there it is guys. It's on, but now, if some of you guys were wondering, you can't take off like this. This this is what's sitting on the ground. There's nothing else that's coming close. These front pe these front little pegs here, as you can see. So there's a problem, and much to my surprise, I. Uh, you can't take off like this. So, to solve that, this is what we have. Ready, ready for it guys? Landing gear extensions. That's right. You have to raise the drone off the ground. Nowhere on the website says you have to make any modifications. So, uh, these were, I think there's like 10 bucks. Came in like 24, 48 hours. I don't even remember. It was like here two days later. So if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, get the fishing gannet, you also have to get extensions because it can't take off like that. You don't want to take off all cockeyed or whatever. So let's go ahead and put these on, and uh, let's see if then if we can take off. All right. So as you can see, we've installed the landing gear, and let's just go a little bit lower. Now we're clear for takeoff. As you can see, there's an inch or so, inch and a half of space under. You see what I mean? The th that was the lowest point of the drone. Now these legs are the lowest point of the drone. You have to have these. I mean, I didn't even try. So uh, that's what it looks like. There you go, guys. Okay, let's go take it outside. Hook it up to the fishing All right, pole. we've got everything outside. We're gonna set everything up here. We're in the backyard. This is the pole we're gonna be using. It's eight foot beach rod. And we got a three ounce sinker attached to it. The drone will carry up to 14 ounces but uh, I wouldn't even go in close to that height or that weight. You don't want to over stress your drone. And plus we're going to be putting the drone into payload mode. So you're going to put the drone on the ground. We're going to attach the line and then we're going to drop it in the water.
All right, so we're back inside. Uh, as you can see, we hooked up the drone, we took it up in the air, and all we did was just back it up. The fishing line was already tight and just popped off. Super simple, super easy. It just takes a, a couple times to get used to it. The main concern is just uh, not getting your fishing line wrapped up in the propellers because if you do that, it's it's game over. You're probably replacing something. And, um, and if you're over the ocean, uh, yeah, you're done. <laughs> So um, with that being said, I have, I'll have all the links in the uh, description below. I'm not, like I said, I'm not affiliated with him um, or this company. Um, it, it comes from South Africa and it actually took a very short amount of time. It took about a week to get here and uh, it's real easy to install. Just watch the video over again if you need help. If you have any questions, uh, drop some comments below. Uh, I'll, I'll be sure to answer them for you. Um, make sure you subscribe because we are going to go take uh, another fishing trip. Maybe we'll do a, a, a catch, clean, cook uh, with some fish that we catch from the drone. And uh, if you want, make sure to check out some of my other videos. Click on the bottom left for some more great videos. And then click the bottom right to subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you on the next video.